middle mouse button. I'm just going to maybe left select individual vertices and just slightly drag them so he has a better looking shape to his neck. Maybe just drag this out slightly. Rather than having having a square or an odd looking shape, kind of have a little bit of curvature to it. Okay, I'm just going to press 3 for side view. I'm just going to press and hold Alt and left select this. I'm just going to drag the entire edge back, maybe to here, and press S and scale it down slightly. Left click to lock that in. Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude, and I'm going to ex extrude down to where I think the top of his shoulder is going to be. Left click to lock that in. I think this is slightly too high. So I'm just going to choose this as the top. And what I want to do is form four faces that I can delete and extrude the arms from. So this area here, eventually I'm going to press S and just scale him, scale his shoulders back out to about here and just drag this back. Okay, I'm going to come to front view, press S to scale, X for the X axis, and drag it out, and left click to lock that in. And as you can see, some of the vertices are starting to come into the center and merge. So I'm just going to drag these out individually away. Okay, I'm going to left, press and hold Alt, left select this, press S to scale, X for the X axis and just drag this out left click when I'm happy to lock that in position it's going to come to side view press R just to rotate this around just so I can start coming down a little bit flatter left click to lock that in just going to drag it back I'm going to press S to scale Z for the Z axis and just kind of flatten this up left click to lock that in Okay, just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. Okay, I'm just going to grab some of these and drag and form a little bit better shape to him before we start extruding down. Press and hold the axes. Okay, I'm just going to press 1, go back into front view. I'm going to press and hold Alt, left select this edge here, and press S to scale, Y for the Y axis, and just drag this back in slightly. And just grab the Y direction and drag them back. Okay, I'm going to extrude, so I'm going to press E, and just drag this down. Left click to lock that in. I'm just going to press S and scale it up. Again, left click to lock that in. I'm going to come back over to front view and again I'm going to drag select left select these individual vertices and drag them away from the center need to keep an eye on them as we go down okay I'm going to press and hold alt and left select that entire edge I just want to press s and scale these out in the x so press X for the X axis and what I want to do is line it up with his the width of his waist or his body coming up there okay again I'm just going to individually select some of these vertices and pull them away from the center again press and hold alt left select this entire edge press S to scale X for the X axis and just drag out to there. Okay, I'm just going to press E to extrude and drag this down. Left click to lock that in. Just going to press Z and left select solid shading. I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to select individual points and try and give him a little bit more shape to his shoulders and front body. He's getting a little bit pointy on the edges it's not too important it's just I want 
some better shape to his shoulders as I'm coming down here. It's nothing that can't be adjusted later, but just. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Just going to press 1 for front view. I'm actually just going to press 7 for top view and see where he is. Okay. Could maybe straighten him out a little bit more. Select individual points and just drag them. Just press 7. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. He doesn't have to be as large as this. This is probably his midsection and that would be the widest point. I'm just going to come back over here. Come back to side view. Press and hold Alt, left select this edge here and just press S to scale, Y for the Y axis and drag them out. Okay, left click to lock that in position. Just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. Again, just... Okay, I am going to press, come over to side view press control tab and left select face selection mode okay i'm just going to press one for front view here okay i'm going to select these four faces and i want to extrude his arms well actually first i actually need to extrude down further so i'm just going to press control tab again left select edge or sorry i should really Control tab and left select vertex. Okay, press and hold tab, left select the entire edge. I'm just going to press 3 and I'm going to extrude. So E to extrude and just extrude down. Maybe S, scale him out slightly. Okay, I'm just going to come over to the front view, press Z and select wireframe so I can keep an eye on those vertices at the back. I'm going to press E to extrude again and just extrude down, left click to lock that in. And again, one more time, just press E to extrude, drag down to about his waist, left click to lock that in. Okay, I'm just gonna press Z and reselect solid shading. I'm just gonna check that everything is in order here. Okay, nothing has merged. Okay, I can come back to him later and Maybe pull some points. He's a little bit pointy on the front. Okay, again, I'm going to come back to side view. Press Control Tab and left select face selection mode. I'm going to press and hold Shift and left select these four faces. And this is where I'm going to extrude from. So I'm just going to press 1 for front view. I'm going to press delete and left select faces. Okay, I'm going to press control tab and left select vert vertex. And what I want to do is maybe just form what I think will be his a good shape around his arms where we can extrude from. Left click and just drag these in. Again, do the same for the corner ones, try and put around shape rather than a square pointy type shape that's not looking too bad to begin with okay i'm just going to press and hold alt and left select this entire edge and now i'm just gonna i'm gonna come to side view and press seven for top view and again i'm in top or the graphic you can toggle between perspective and orthographic by pressing five okay i'm just going to drag this back i'm just going to press r and rotate this 
vertex group just so it's coming in line with his arm okay I might just come to the front view and rotate this so it just rotates a little bit it's not too important I suppose just slightly left click to lock that in position okay I'm just going to grab these and drag them back slightly okay it's a good place to start I'm going to press 7 I'm going to press E to extrude and just drag it out to here maybe left click to lock that in Okay, I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around okay I can just again just pull individual edges give it the best shape I can I'm just going to come back over here press and hold alt left select okay I'm just going to press 1 on front view I'm going to press S to scale Z for the Z axis and just drag that down or scale it in I'm just going to drag the Z axis down just to get it in line with my arm profile okay I'm just going to press R to rotate and straighten it up I'm going to press S to scale Z for the Z sorry S to scale S to scale X for the X axis and just square this up a little bit better and left click to lock that in position okay I'm happy enough with that so I'm just going to press E to extrude and extrude him out left click press S to scale and Z for the Z axis and just get in close to the profile left click to lock that in position okay I'm going to come over to the top view and I'm just going to drag this back slightly maybe I'll just leave it down he's probably not too bad looking there I'm just going to press S to scale and Y for the Y axis okay I'm going to press E to extrude again and left click to lock that in I'm going to press S to scale Y for the Y axis and left click when I'm happy to lock that in I'm just going to scale this down in the Z so S to scale Z for the Z axis and left click when I'm happy to lock that in position okay I'm going to extrude I'm going to assume this is, this will be the elbow joint so I want an edge a lot roughly along here so I'm just going to press E to extrude and stop where I reckon the elbow joint is left click to lock that in position okay that's not looking too bad I'm going to press E to extrude again and just go past the elbow joint left click to lock that in I'm going to press S to scale Z for the Z axis and left click lock that in I'm going to come over to top view and press S to scale Y for the Y axis and just scale him in slightly could actually come back to this one press and hold alt left select and press s to scale y for the y axis and just scale it in left click to lock that in just going to press and hold alt left select press e to extrude maybe just extrude close to the hand left click lock that in press s to scale and just scale in the wrist to about there Okay, and okay, that's not looking too bad. Again, there's some parts of it that could do with a little bit of adjusting, but overall, he's not too bad. I'm just going to press Control S and save that. Okay, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I'm just going to continue modeling down along from the base of his waist here down through the, down to down the legs. All right, so I'm going to go into front view on this window and again 
I'm in front orthographic, so you can toggle between perspective and orthographic by pressing five. 